chairman of the Water and Sewage Corporation, Adrian Gibson, says customers must continue to pay their water bills on time to avoid disconnection. He says, unfortunately, unpaid bills have raked up $45 million in, in arrears and persons are refusing to keep up with their obligations. The reality is when you pay your water bill, it allows us to pay our staff, it allows us to carry out further infrastructural works throughout the family islands. Our brothers and sisters in islands, like Long Island, and places like Cat Island where they don't have an inch of pipe, and other islands are still without running water, okay? And those persons who contribute to paying those bills, they help to see those infrastructural measures taken in those islands as well. When asked how many customers were delinquent, Mr. How many accounts were delinquent and have already been disconnected in the recent exercise? Gibson says they're in the process of collecting that data. We don't have a, a listing as yet, but I'll tell you what. Um, in the next week or two, I'll be able to speak more definitively on it because the collections exercise is, is currently ongoing. Um, I know that we had some good numbers come in um, last month uh, for the family islands and New Providence. Um, and we are hoping to better those numbers this month. I'll share all that with you over the next two weeks once everything um, dies down a bit. Um, but I can tell you things are looking up.